You know, I was just starting to like Netflix. They had put out some great projects as of late, from Wednesday to One Piece, and one of my all-time favorite Netflix series, Lupin. But then they go and pull this crap. As there are reports claiming that there's going to be another African Queen series in the works at Netflix. And yes, this is the same quote-unquote documentary series as the one that said this. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra was black. And season two of this African Queen's documentary series was the worst reviewed series of all time. So please remind me why they're making another season. Now I have to say these reports aren't 100% verified. However, when they're saying things like this, it won't surprise me at all if they really do go through with another season. However, it seems that African Queen season three is due to happen given the mainly positive statistics of the current second season. Are you serious right now, bro? But what they fail to mention when they talk about these statistics is that the reason the viewership was so high for this Netflix series was because it was so bad that it was laughable. And people genuinely just wanted to watch it to see if it was really as bad as people said. And when people are watching it because it's so bad, that should not be grounds for another season. That should not be positive for them. And they should not want to be seen in that way. If I'm Netflix, I I don't want to be seen as some sort of a joke. I want to be seen as a studio that puts out quality stories and quality work. I don't want to just put out things that people are going to laugh at because that will get clicks regardless. I would rather just put out good work. And now there is an argument to be made that each season focuses on a different African queen and that season three won't be about Cleopatra. So if they actually do focus on a real queen that was black, then the series will be fine and people will be happy. And that's sounds all well and good. However, when you go back to season one of this African Queen's documentary series, which wasn't focused on Cleopatra, that also got horrible reviews. And so to me, what that says is that maybe the creative team behind this series just aren't up for the job. Stop it. Get some help. Because honestly, this doesn't seem like a project that you can actually mess up this bad. Because all they're doing is going back to previous African queens and making documentaries on them and giving them an entire season. That sounds like a good premise. I'm interested in African history. They have a deep, rich cultural history, and that should make for a fine documentary. I mean, how on earth can you go wrong? But where they did go wrong was when they made crazy claims and when they also chose to cast actors to reenact these scenarios where they don't actually have to base their documentary in any sort of fact. And when it came to the whole Cleopatra season, if they wanted to focus on black queens, why didn't they go and tell a story about a real black queen? Why did they try and make Cleopatra black? And also, Cleopatra was an African queen, she just wasn't a black queen. So they could have just made the documentary about Cleopatra the way it should have been made, actually based in fact, and this series would have gone down just fine. So clearly this creative team has some things that they need to work out and need to realize that they're dealing with the documentary space and not the fantasy space and actually get back to creating quality projects. However, I don't think this African Queen series should continue for any more seasons. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. And that's the problem right now that we're seeing in film and television is that there's no real creative original vision. Actually, I take that back. You have to have some vivid imagination to say something like this. Cleopatra was black. But you get my point. Why would they rather go back to a series that utterly failed and make a new season of it than just create something original? Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Are they seriously not getting pitched any original ideas? It just doesn't make any sense, especially when you go back and look at all the projects that have worked so well for Netflix in the past, from Stranger Things to Extraction to Lupin. These are all original series or original films. These are original stories and concepts. I don't get why they can't see that people genuinely just want to see something new. And as long as the story's good, 
they're going to give it a watch and they're going to enjoy it. You don't have to always go back to something that has source material. You don't always have to go back to something that already exists. It just doesn't make sense. And at first I thought the reason they did it was because there was a large fan base and they could tailor these shows and these movies to that fan base. However, looking at this Cleopatra series getting a new season, I mean, that doesn't make sense because there's no fan base for this African Queen series. No one enjoyed it. So I don't see any point in making a new season. And like I said, these reports aren't 100% verified, but I wouldn't be surprised if they genuinely do go through with a new season because in their heads, they'll talk about positive statistics and think that that's a good sign without looking at the actual reviews. Because genuinely, if they go through with a new season of this African Queen series, then I've lost all hope and all optimism when it comes to Hollywood getting back to telling original ideas because it just seems so far from the reality. And what's sad to me is that the only time we see original concepts anymore are in really small indie productions, which are fine that I enjoy. However, I want to see them on the big scale again. That's why people are flocking to the cinema to watch things like Barbie, to watch things like Mission Impossible, to watch Oppenheimer, because these are original stories and maybe they're based on a genre that has a fan base or they're based on a toy that has a fan base. However, the story is new and people are excited to see that. And the reason you go and look at other stories that aren't new, that are remakes or prequels or part of a universe, they're not doing as well anymore because people want to see something fresh. And to end this video, something I do want to clear up is that I don't want to be lumped in with one of those people that are attacking this African Queens documentary just because it's about African Queens, because it's very easy to get misconstrued nowadays on the internet and taken as some right-wing activist or some left-wing activist when all I care about is good stories, and I genuinely would want to see a good African Queen documentary, however, actually based in fact and made well. And so I'm sorry I have to clear that up. I know most of you guys understand where I'm coming from. I know most of you guys know I'm just a movie fan and I'm not some political advocate, some political activist. However, I have seen that rise on the internet as of late and I've seen many YouTubers take a political stance and only ever see a movie through a political lens and I don't ever want to be lumped in with that. I don't ever want to be seen as someone that's only viewing things from a political perspective because honestly, I don't care what side of the political spectrum a movie's on as long as the story is good and as long as the concepts and political ideas are weaved in to a good piece of art. So I'm sorry I had to clear that up. I know you guys understand where I'm coming from, but if you did like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.